Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got a haul video for you here. I've got the CBCS books in that I said were coming in. Um, and I got a few raw books that I just show up front because they're new. So I picked up uh, New Suicide Squad number one, the 125 variant. Um, I found it at a local shop for... He actually they just sent a big pile of books off to be graded and... They did like a pre-screening for some reason, paid $5 an issue to see if their books would be, you know, 9.6 or 9.8. If they didn't, if they didn't get 9.8, they didn't grade them. So a bunch of these books came back and I just saw them and this had a $20 price tag on it. Um, so I scooped it up because I know it's going for like 60. Um, I've already sold it. I don't understand what the huge, like even the regular cover I think is going for like 20 bucks. I don't understand the appeal I don't is it because of Joker Joker's daughter I guess like Harley was already in this I just I don't get the appeal but uh, I grabbed it for a quick flip uh, and this was also in that pile um, 30 for this one I figure I'll be able to get 60 anyway for it um, Walking Dead 92 it's the third time I've owned this and then so those are for flipping then these next three I grabbed today at work. Uh, X Factor 15, a nice, sharp, really nice near mint copy. Um, I think I told, I think I gave him 10 for this. And then Inhumans and Black Widow, Amazing Adventures number one, featuring the Inhumans and the Black Widow. Uh, I'm certain it's the Black Widow's first solo story, and I don't know if it's the first Inhuman solo story, but I don't really care. I just have been wanted it for a while, and it came in, and I got a good price for it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. It's in really nice shape. Like I think I, I think we called it an eight five somewhere around there. It's really nice. And then finally got myself a Avengers 196, a nice high grade uh, copy of the first appearance of Taskmaster. Another book I've wanted for forever for a really really long time it's so hard to find nice copies like um you know for a high grade copy you're gonna pay like a 100 bucks on ebay this i paid 40 for it's you know it's borderline near mint so let's call it like a nine but it's really nice it's i got it off my list keeping that one Super, super, super happy to have seen that today looking through the boxes. Yep. He just, a, big, a nice collection just came in and yep, yep. Uh, this one, Fantastic Four, King Size Annual number six. Um, I had passed on this once because I saw it in the long box at a, you know, local shop for $21 and I thought that was too much money. And then I looked at what it's actually selling for and it's, it's crazy. Like this, this is the uh, first appearance of Annihilus, and it's the birth of Franklin Richards. Um, so it's, the f I think this is considered Franklin Richards' first appearance. I don't know if the appeal is uh, Annihilus or Franklin Richards, but uh, yeah, like I saw, you know, some a 9.0 sold for like six, a CGC graded 9.0 sold for like 650, 650 dollars. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is at least like this is a very fine copy. Um, it might be. It might be like a 7.5, maybe. It's got a little thing there. But it's uh, it's in really nice shape, and I got it for $21. Um, I think I'm actually going to get this graded and sell it and see what happens. So now let's get on to the graded books, get my cat out of here. All right, so got 10 graded books in today. Um, they're all from CBCS. They cost... Uh, it was only like 20 bucks a pop. I think a couple of the older books might have been a little bit more. It was like 15, 20 bucks, you know, with shipping and everything each. And we got them back in like six weeks. Like it was really, really quick. Um, so yeah, most of these, I think five or six of them, I plan to just sell. And there's four really nice ones that I'm going to keep. And I'm excited to show you. So uh, here we got uh, Edge of Spider-Verse number two, you know, first, first Spider-Gwen. Um, it's a 9.8. It's already sold. Um, I really do like their label. Let's check out the label. You know, it shows you the pages. 
shows you that info, tells you, you know, first appearance of Gwen Stacy as Spider-Gwen. And then on the back, it tells you other little things. Half page ad for Deathlock number one. Um, there's a couple things that I'll point out on some of them, but this one is great. I like, I really like the case. I like the plastic bag they put it in. You know, it's a clear plastic bag, so you can actually leave it in the bags. Really nice, really fast shipping. Um, I'll even, I'll show you the box. No, I put the boxes away, but it was nice boxes. Um, so yeah, that one's gone. I probably could have got a little bit more for it, but hey, I only paid cover price for it and I sold it for very good money. Um, here we got the Wolverine number 80. You know, this is the first uh, X23 in a test tube. I just, I should have looked close. It's only a 9.4. I should have looked closer. I've got a whole bunch of copies. I should have tried to find. I didn't bother taking them out of their bags to see what the nicest one was. I just picked what I thought might be the nicest one. Um, I'm going to sell this. I figure I'll get more than I paid. I paid a dollar for the comic and, you know, 20 or so, 25 maybe for grading. No, probably only 20. And, uh, see, it's like it doesn't, I mean, I didn't expect it to say first X23 in a test tube, but it doesn't say anything about that. Um, but yeah, it's only 9.4. I don't really see any issues with it. But, you know, that's the other cool thing is you can check the grader notes, which I will be doing after this video. And then here's another one, Fury of Firestorm number 23. If you watch Arrow, uh, this is the first appearance of Felicity Smoke, who I guess is the blonde girl on that show. Um, first appearance of Felicity Smoke and first appearance of Bite. 9.6. I think I'm going to do this as an auction. I think this is a little bit of a hot book right now. Uh, so yeah, very happy with these... Uh, the turnaround time. The only thing was when it's not even their fault, they, they got hung up in customs for almost a week. But uh, but, but we got them. Um, Rat Queens, number one, 9.8. Probably going to hang on to this for a little bit. I've got a bunch of copies and I got this graded, you know, planning to sell it. But I'll wait to see if it, it is probably my favorite series. And, you know, if it, uh, if it starts to heat up, I'll sell it. But otherwise, I'll probably just keep it great series we got thief of thieves number one this is the comics pro variant it's a 9.8 um there's only i don't know if there's only 250 or 500 copies of this but it's one or the other and i actually think it's only 250 copies of this this is the rarest thief of thieves variant it's the first print yeah comics pro exclusive just give me some kind of television announcement please and I'm gonna sell that one too. Uh, here we got fly number one. This is the retailer incentive. Um, this was actually a CGC 9.9, .9, and now it's a 9.8. When it was a 9.9, .9, I cracked it out of the slab because I didn't. Uh, there was just some weird wave thing going on, and I wanted to look at it closer. Um, so yeah, somehow I don't know why it didn't get a 9.9. .9. Well, I understand why it didn't get a 9.9, .9, but. I was just, you know, I was kind of hoping it would come back at 10. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the Retailer Incentive. I've shown this book a few times. Um, supposedly there's going to be some sort of TV show. There is, it's been optioned for a TV show anyway. So just a couple books left. Now these books are all ones that I'm keeping. Um, here we got Psylocke number one. This is the second print. And I got it in a 9.8. Um, so yeah, really happy with this. Amazing cover. Love the cover. I do have the first print. See, but this is what I was saying. Like, if you look at the label, there is no mention of this being the second print, which uh, I thought was a little strange. Doesn't say it on the back. But I mean, if you look down here, it's like boom, right there, second print. But doesn't say it on the label, which is strange. But whatever, I'm not sending it back. I don't care. I'm really happy to have it in 9.8. Uh, I think we got three left. Um, X-Men 129, first appearance of Kitty Pride, first appearance of Emma Frost, and also some say the first appearance of Sebastian Shaw. Um, 
I always tried to, whenever I graded this, like, would tell the grade, I would always say it was, uh, like an 8.5 or a 9, and it came back a 9 too, so really happy about that. Um, just a super key book in my opinion. Um, it's also the, the start of the Dark Phoenix Saga, so you, know, you got four things going on in this book. Definitely uh, one to pick up, but really glad to get it in a 9 too. And then this next book was shocking. Look at that, 9.2, X-Men number 50, Jim Steranko cover. When I bought this on eBay, the guy had it graded at a fine, very fine. He had it as a seven. And when I won the auction for $120, I, uh, and then I would, because he had a bought, like he would have other auctions after like the next following weeks, like for like a month, he was selling this book in, uh, and every auction, it would never go close to the 120 that I paid for this. And I was like, oh man, I really got screwed on that. Because like his other options, he would even say the bu the books were like very fine plus, like better than the one I got. And you know, I paid 120 and I guess it's because I thought it looked really nice and at least one other person thought it looked really nice too. And we were both right because it came back at 9.2. Super, super stoked. This was like such a grail for me for so long. And then I got it and I just kind of forgot about it, but. Yeah, super happy, amazing cover, and finally, I got my Batman 251 back. Um, when I bought this one, the guy called it a very a fine or a very fine near mint, a 9.0. Um, I tried to be conservative and call it an 8.5 when I would show it, but I was very happy with it. And look what I got. I got a 9.2. It's crazy. Uh, Batman 251, just the return of the psychotic Joker, the first modern Joker. And yeah, I got a 9.2. These are really, really expensive. I can't sell it. I would like to sell it now that it's in this grade because I only paid, I paid 150 for the book. And, you know, I could get a lot of money for this, but... I'm gonna have to hang on to it because I'm just so happy with it. But, but yeah, that's what I got. Um, thanks for watching. Um, come back. I'll probably do a pull this video tomorrow. And uh, yeah, and then now that I got all these slabbed books, I'm gonna set up my shelf with. So I'm gonna do a pull this video, and then after that, there'll be like a uh, you know comic room video. Okay, thanks for watching, and have a good one.